hey, I got Jerry Cohn in the garage with me today. Jerry, how you doing, man? Great. Great. Now, you're the, the, the founder and, and I guess co-owner along with your son, Scott, of, of Corvette Central. Yes, right? sir. Well, man, you know, you've been in this business a long time and, you know, kind of kind of renowned as a supplier of Corvette parts. But what I love is I just love the story of your company because it is, it is absolutely the American dream. T t tell me how Corvette Central started. Well, I guess it all started over a, a poor old 58 Corvette that that really was in bad need of parts, and among those parts were grill teeth. At that point in time, I was uh, actually the owner of a tool and die and die cast shop, so they were just more parts to me. It didn't look that difficult, so I just started building some tooling, and we started making some grill teeth. So, I mean, this, this is it here, right? That's 58, it. 58 grill teeth. That's this is what it. started Corvette Central. Yes, sir. So you needed them, you made them, it was not long after that, or not long after I started, I, I heard about a show out in Rockton, Illinois. Yeah, I'm, and, I'm from near there, actually. <laughs> and, and so we, we uh, I had some samples done, just probably didn't look any different than a row you see right here, which is a match set. Probably had one set done. So I put them in the trunk of my car, and off I went to Rockton. And I got there, I flipped the trunk open, and guys started looking at them and they were just as excited about this as I was. I mean, I could tell there were people standing in line. They were giving me addresses. They're, when are you going to have some more done? When did the light go on at that point? Oh yeah, it definitely <laughs> did. <laughs> so by the time I got back home that day, I had a few other of these little cast parts here that we did right after that. Again, these are also production pieces that are still run today right at... But these were actually Corvette made even Central. before there was actually yeah, a Corvette that, Central, right? Yeah, that was, at that point, it was just kind of a hobby business. It was kind of a challenge, a personal challenge to... I was going to get some grill teeth for that car no matter what. Yeah, and, and so <laughs> if you I, have to make them yourself. That's right, whatever it takes. <laughs> and you've gone from that to being, you know, I mean, full line of, of Corvette all the way through all the generations, C1 through C6, pretty much everything you'd need to... Uh, to re restore or accessorize any of these cars now. Absolutely. And and all of this stuff, most of your products, many of your products are still made uh, up in Michigan, right? That's right. Yeah, we still, uh, you know, we're car parts guys and car parts are made in the U.S. So we strive to do it that way. We do have products that do come from uh, different countries around the world. Well, but you have we have so many of them. We have so many and, and we just can't get everything done in this country anymore. But are you still making them, you know, pretty much the way they were made? Pretty much, if you think about it, they're all, they're all like the machine that runs the grill teeth is, ran grill teeth probably when it was new, for all I know. It, it's uh, still older equipment running traditional parts in a in traditional, a traditional manner. Yep. In the USA. Right. Manufactured in the USA. Yes, sir. What a concept. Really? <laughs> well, now, it, it, Corvette, with Corvettes, it's not just ownership. I mean, it is a fraternity. And, and Corvette guys really can't get enough stuff that says Corvette on it. So you also make a whole line of what I refer to as Corvette toys. You call them accessories. Accessories. But, but really, it's like, you know, signage and, you know, decorative stuff for the, the shop and, and all that. I mean, you make all that stuff now. Right. Well, a, a lot of that is, is uh, we, do, we do make some of that ourselves. A lot of that is more of a marketing thing. Uh, but as a Corvette guy, you know what Corvette guys are looking for. Well, we like to think so, Some and we treat pizza. we treat those those items just like our parts. We make sure that they're of a real, genuine, good quality and and properly made, properly licensed, whatever the arrangement might be. Well, it's fantastic. You've been keeping Corvettes on the road for quite a while with absolute top quality parts and, and made in the USA, and I really admire that. And it's been fun. I bet it has. <laughs> it's been a ball. Well, hey, if you want to learn anything more about these. 58 grill teeth, or any of the other great Corvette Central parts, log on to MyClassicCar.com. I gotta get me a Corvette. I, I believe you should. AutoGeek.net. We are car care.